So to kickstart, I wanted to ask yourself these questions. Are you really interested in tech and innovation? I, like, just take something that excites you. Are you interested in tech in general? Next, are you a curious person? Are you curious to get solutions to problems? Are you curious to solve problems in a different way, improve solutions, improve how things are done? If something like that excites you, then you may be heading towards a career in tech. Lastly, are you really interested in building a career in tech in general so it may not necessarily be coding because i know a lot of people would want to shy away from the idea of learning to code and that's fine because we all know what we can do best and maybe coding is just not it's for you and that's fine so think about it in a broader perspective of outside coding in design in ai in natural language in anything like technical writing anything tech sales anything else so just think about it in a broader sense is that a field that you really want to consider building a career from if you answer yes to all these questions i think like pretty much have it all figured out and you can literally start right away now moving on i am really going to be pleading with you to take some time to draft your reasons draft your whys why do you want to get into this so if it has to do with learning to code why do you want to learn to code it could be that you've heard stories about securing the bag the tech money getting luxury of um, lunch of of working from home working from anywhere and it may be a good reason for you and it may be generally something that you really want to have for yourself that's fine but i really want you to draft your wise identify why you want to do that thing why you want to learn that skill why you want to learn that coding language and that will only play out in your favor when hard times come because learning to code is actually not a lazy man's job it's not easy to learn to code especially when you are doing that on your own now if you want to go through the conventional way of going to the university to learn to code to get a computer science degree and learn to code and all that that's fine to you as well but in 2024 there are literally lots of avenues to get in a text without necessarily going to the university to get a computer science degree that said it doesn't mean that if you have a computer science degree it's not good or it's outdated it's not because i have a computer science degree even though i try to tell you that you can get a computer science degree i also wanted to know that whatever skill that you are trying to pursue in your degree you equally have that opportunity outside the university you have it online you have it on your on your laptop you have it on the internet you have it on your phone in your pocket so take advantage of these things and try to upskill whatever thing that you are trying to learn in this year learning a programming language should actually be the last thing you should worry about because if you have a reason why you want to learn that skill and you have the i and you've been able to identify the field that you are really interested in and i think it would be a good help for you to get started with so before, when i started my journey i decided that i was going to start with front-end development because i was genuinely interested in how a website is designed how a web app is designed how it's developed so i really started from my html css and javascript right from the basics because i knew that i wanted to go from front-end to wherever i wanted to head to so getting getting an understanding of where you are headed can also be of great help to you so if it's something that you want to do you should actually look into things that are really going to help you in that trajectory because you are really like in tech you're literally going to be learning everywhere like you're going to be learning at every point in in your life like even when you are a senior you are still learning that's one of the beautiful things about getting a career in tech because the learning journey is literally upwards every time and it really helps you to just know where to start from so that you don't you don't just get lost in this tutorial whole way you are you're constantly learning but you don't know where exactly you're headed so you just need to identify what field you are interested in and then you start making plans towards that now that being said comes to our programming languages it's not about how long it takes you to learn the programming language i think one of the things i'm most interested in when it comes to training people or when it comes to helping people to learn the programming languages getting them to really understand what they are doing because when you're learning anything from the start it seems like you don't really know what you're doing a couple of days before christmas i decided to take up a skill in ui ux design now it may be surprising because i'm a front-end developer and i'm not 
exactly an expert in UI UX design so I decided that I'm going to learn this skill and I'm going to be a master of it and when I started I was really lost like I was lost I'm like why am I doing this like why am I learning this why am I learning this but then I decided to like trust the process and really take myself through this um, journey to actually learn the skill and I got to understand that like when you are learning a skill it's really not a rosy journey it's not it's not all easy but you just have to keep going so you just have to make sure that you understand it from the basics you don't you don't want to jump skills you don't want to jump um, tutorials and just be hopping on to different tutorials as and when you see it so when I think I, I can share this story here right now when when I was learning the skill in front end development I had gone for an interview um, for a front-end role and then I got to know that they were really interested in hiring someone who was an expert in react development and I wasn't really an expert in the react development I was just starting JavaScript and I was like okay so they want a react developer okay fine I'm going to ditch JavaScript and I'm going to head straight to learning react and I really regretted it later on it only affected me the more because I had head of react development I just jump straight to it to, to learn react and this is one thing i want to talk you out of don't try to skip steps they all come with their own journeys they all come with their own steps so it's always better to just start from the basics there are lots of materials on the internet that you can use to learn whatever language you are trying to learn Mosh on youtube is actually a very good tutor in, in teaching a lot of programming languages so i really recommend that and there are a lot of um online resources on the internet that you can literally check out i will find a couple of them and link them in the description below so do go to check it out i'm going to end this here today and i will see you in my next video bye